Okay, it's time now, though, for our science segment on the programme. And today we're looking at nuclear issues here in France, in particular a significant crack that's been discovered in one of the country's reactors. The reactor was not operational at the time, so the incident had no direct environmental impact. But it is just the latest example that's plaguing the energy sector here in France at a time when the government is working to boost production. To discuss, Shirley Sitbon from our science desk joins me. Hi, Shirley. Um, tell us then exactly what happened, first of all, at this site in northern France. Well, EDF, the energy company which runs all of these nuclear sites and other uh, energy sites, well, it was inspecting uh, this uh, reactor in northern France and it saw this huge crack, uh, not a micro crack like the ones we regularly see here, uh, but a deep one. It's 2.3 centimeters deep in, in a pipe that is only 2.7 centimeters uh, large, wow. which is a, a problem. And also, it was long, more than 15 centimeters long. Uh, EDF, though, says uh, this was not a security issue. As you said, it was not operational. But we can see the scale of uh, the seriousness of this uh, crack because uh, the body regulating the security of uh, France's reactors, well, it said, well, we can see maybe the scale. It said that uh, this is not an accident, of course, but is a pretty serious incident because, well, I guess we don't have that scale. But, uh, oh, yeah, we do have it. Uh, so this is the scale. It's the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale. It's a, it shows that this is basically an incident, number two. The worst one, obviously, is a uh, major accident. We're very far from that. That was uh, Fukushima or Chernobyl. Uh, but still, uh, the regulators are still concerned. They say that EDF should do something about this because this cannot uh, repeat itself. Yeah, so they're saying that EDF needs to revise its inspection policy. Yes. So uh, this specific uh, incident was about it's just a cooling pipe, which is supposed to cool down the reactor. But uh, the regulator says that EDF must look at this more thoroughly. So the company is the one that saw this and reported this uh, crack. And at first, it submitted a plan. It said it will submit a plan how to repair this crack. But the regulator said, no, you're not just going to repair this uh, crack. You're going to revise entirely your security uh, strategy, your maintenance strategy, your, your inspection strategy of all your sites, because there are so many dozens of sites across the country. And this comes at a special time, because France is revising various nuclear strategies, and one of the things it wants to revise is regulation. Uh, the bodies that inspect those reactors will be merged. That's something that experts have been protesting against, and this comes actually in a few days. There is a protest that is planned from those experts. Well, this is all happening, Shirley, at a time when France wants to intensify production. And will this incident make that harder? It will. It will help those who are against this plan. Currently in the National Assembly, there is a debate on a new law that will boost, intensify the production of nuclear energy. Because you know that in France uh, this year, uh, the, the nuclear energy has seen some problems. We're not anymore uh, importing massively gas from Russia. There has been some uh, shortages. I mean, we fear that there will even be electricity cuts. And France does not want to see that. So the government decided to boost nuclear energy, unlike what was said in previous years when we wanted to lower uh, the massive amount of nuclear energy. It's about 70 percent of the electricity we have in the country, but uh, the government will now have to face criticism. It wants to accelerate uh, the building of nuclear reactors. It wanted to, you know, uh, make it much easier. But those opposing the plan say no. Security comes first, and this for them is a perfect example. But this will be costly, of course. Shelley Sitbon, thanks very much indeed for coming in to tell us uh, what is going on in France's nuclear energy sector. Thank you.